Hello, this is John Wobbenhorst, and welcome to this presentation, East Indian Music for Western Flutists. I made this uh, presentation because I've been playing Western flute my whole life, but also for the last, uh, oh, about almost 30 years, I've also been playing Bansuri and the music from India. And uh, what I've realized is that a lot of people who play Western flute would like to have some instruction, they'd like to learn some things about Indian music, maybe they're not going to be a professional Indian musician, but there's so much you can learn from this music which really can help uh, your Western flute playing. And I've been very fortunate in that I've been able to spend, oh, many decades with my guru, Hari Prasad Charasya, the great uh, Bansuri master. And really, to be around a musician like that is just, has just been an incredible experience. But I've realized that a lot of people would like to know more about this music, learn more about this music, but they may not want to play the Bansuri, or they may want to play the Bansuri, but they also want to learn how to play some of this music, learn some of these music concepts in relation to their Western flute. So that's really what uh, this whole presentation is about, is that it's possible to do that. The problem is most people who teach Bansuri, they don't also play Western flute, so it's hard for them to understand how to take these approaches and apply them to Western flute. And that's really about what my background is. I actually grew up playing the Western flute. I started out in band, and I was playing the Western classical repertoire, the Bach flute sonatas, Mozart, etc. Um, I, was, I was deeply also into jazz and Hubert Laws and James Moody and all types of great jazz players, into Chick Corea and Weather Report and all kinds of different jazz. And, uh, but it also, simultaneously, I really got deeply into Indian music. And what really struck me about Indian music is that there was this incredible improvisational element. At the same time, they had this very, very deep tradition. So it's sort of like they had the improvisational element that I was used to from jazz, but there's also this deep tradition that I was used to from Western classical music. So for me, in many ways, Indian music had some of the highest values that were found in jazz and Western classical music. And it's really an incredible music. So, through the years, I've just gone deeper and deeper into this music, and at the same time, I've never stopped playing my Western flute, and I, of course, love playing jazz, I love playing uh, Western classical music. So, to me, any type of music that you get deep into is going to help your musicality, is going to help your whole musical expression in any type of music that you play. But the problem I've seen is that a lot of people would like to delve more into Indian music, but they just don't know how, and there's not really someone there to teach them. So that's basically what I'm letting people know is available. Um, it's really a one-to-one -one basis. Some people want to learn Bansuri. Some people don't want to learn Bansuri. Some people just want to apply it to Western flute. One of the things I've done is I actually have a lot of written music that I've written out for my East-West Jazz Ensemble that's in Western notation, but it's based on ragas. So this is one great technique that's helped a lot of people to you know learn learn some of these Indian music concepts on the Western flute. So again, there's really no one way to go about it. What I'm really offering is individual lessons for people. What we do is we get together on Skype usually. Sometimes I'm occasionally able to see people live because I do travel around the country a lot. But most of the time we get on Skype for about an hour and I charge about sixty dollars an hour. But what I am doing is for people is I'm having uh, the first lesson is free. You can have a half hour free lesson just to check out if you like how we're communicating and uh, I can listen to you play and give some suggestions about different places you can go. Because as you know, many, many great Western musicians have gained a lot from studying this music. Of course, in jazz, you have John Coltrane, people like John McLaughlin, the group Oregon. There's been many jazz musicians who've gotten a lot out of Indian music. And in Western, of course, the Beatles, we all know the Beatles. Uh, in Western classical music, you have Alan Havanis, uh, people like Philip Glass, who've studied Indian music, and they've been able to apply a lot of those concepts. So I really encourage people, if they're into Western music, help to broaden your musicality, learn some of these improvisational ideas, learn some of the classical Indian music concepts, and how to apply them, and it's really just an incredible uh, form of musical expression that I think you'll enjoy. 
So um, I encourage you just to give me a call at the very end of this uh, video. There will be information there for you to get in touch with me and we can take the next steps to see what you'd like to do. What I'm going to do now is also just demonstrate for you some of these principles uh, with my Western flute. So thanks again for listening and here's the demonstration. So I'll demonstrate you here the different approaches you can take to Indian music. Uh, one approach is to learn the traditional bansuri uh, right here. Of course I started out on Western flute but at a certain point I did get deep into bansuri. So some people they want to go the approach of learning the bansuri. I will tell you that it takes a lot of practice to really get this. It might look easy but this fingering is very difficult. So the way I've developed in music is I've, I play both flutes. I play the western flute and the bansuri. So some of you may want to learn bansuri along with your western flute. Some people may just say I want to learn these concepts but apply it to western flute. So both are possibilities for you because even on the western flute you can get a lot of this expressiveness of Indian music because if you understand the concept of how you develop the raga, how you develop the melodic structures, you can do it really on any flute or really on any instrument. So this is just an example of what can be done on the western flute. This is a raga known as Shiva Ranjani. So that's just a short example. Uh, what I also do is I have these Western music uh, scores like I told you about. So you can learn uh, just on this Western flute, you can learn with the Bansuri, you can do both. Uh, either way, well, I'd love to uh, meet you on Skype. I give these lessons and the first lesson is, a half hour lesson is for free. We can just get to know each other, see if it might be something you'd be interested in. The main thing is I think anybody can benefit from getting into this profound music that's from India, the profound rhythms and profound just deep musicality that's represented in this music. So give me a call or, or uh, write me on my email and uh, we can explore this new world for you. Thanks a lot. Mm-hmm.